Imagine a plane that can slice through the sky at supersonic speeds without causing the disruptive thunderous boom. Think about it. An experimental jet? The X-59 Quest. Engineered to hush the cacophony when planes burst through the sound barrier. With its sleek design, featuring a lengthy, pointy nose stretching. Hold on to your seatbelts as we venture into a future where roaring sonic booms are replaced by gentle whispers of flight. With great excitement and speed beyond Wi-Fi in the Campus Cafe, welcome aboard our supersonic. So relax, enjoy flights, and don't be surprised if we arrive before boarding is complete. NASA's X-59 supersonic aircraft gears up for takeoff For over 10 years, Lockheed Martin Skunk Works are and NASA have teamed up to solve a major challenge in high-speed flying, the loud noise called the sonic boom. Lockheed Martin Skunk Works took the lead in designing, building, and testing the X-59 Quiet Supersonic Demonstrator X-Plane technology. Introducing the Lockheed Martin X-59 Quest Quiet Supersonic Technology The main goals of the X-59 were to make the loud sonic boom sound like a soft thump for people on the ground, and to gather information about how people react to the sounds during superfast flights. The X-59 Quest is a test jet designed to lessen the noise created when airplanes break the sound barrier. Instead of the usual loud noise caused by jets reaching the speed of sound, also known as Mach 1, the X-59 is designed to create a milder sound similar to a car door closing nearby. Lockheed Martin, constructing these jets at their advanced aircraft manufacturing facility, Skunk Works, in Palmdale, California, has shared a video showing the X-59 speeding out of the hangar, appearing ready to take off. Numerous videos displayed the X-59's unique shape, featuring a sharp, elongated front that measures 38 feet (11.5 meters) in length. However, due to this long front section, the pilots flying the X-59 wouldn't be able to see the front of the cockpit clearly. Interestingly, the cockpit doesn't even have a front-facing windshield. To solve this issue, the experimental jet is equipped with what NASA calls the External Vision System, or XVS. The XVS is a closed-circuit video system composed of a camera facing forward and a display in front of the X-59 pilot. This system uses special software to process images and a camera setup to create a virtual view of what the X-59 pilot sees, along with additional flight data. After completing the X-59, teams from NASA and Lockheed Martin will perform ground tests to ensure the aircraft is safe and prepared for flight. Once ready, the jet will fly over neighborhoods to observe how people on the ground react to the reduced sonic boom noise. Once the data is gathered, NASA will share it with regulatory agencies like the Federal Aviation Administration to get approval for commercial supersonic flights. Since 1973, flying at supersonic speeds over land and within a certain distance from the U.S. coastline has been prohibited by the FAA. NASA aims to develop an aircraft that can make supersonic flight quieter, which could potentially cut domestic air travel times in half if approved. Jet Engine Installed on NASA's X-59 Supersonic Plane NASA's high-speed X-59 plane is now one step closer to flying with its newly installed engines. The installation of the F-414 GE-100 engine happened at Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works facility in Palmdale, California, earlier this month. This is a significant achievement as it signifies that the X-59 is getting closer to being fully assembled and ready for flight. The engine, provided by General Electric Aviation, measures 13 feet in length and carries a propulsion power of 22,000 pounds. This engine will be responsible for propelling the X-59 as it reaches speeds of up to Mach 1.4 and flies at an altitude of around 55,000 feet. Ray Kastner, NASA's lead for propulsion performance on the X-59, mentioned Installing the engine is the result of years of planning and design collaboration between NASA, Lockheed Martin, and General Electric Aviation. General Electric provided the F-414 GE-100 engine, designed specifically for NASA's QSST program, in 2020. This engine is a custom version of the F-414 GE-39E, which is used in the Saab Gripen fighter jet. It has been optimized for single-engine aircraft, like the X-59. Currently, the F-414 series is commonly used to power Boeing's F-18E-F Super Hornet fighter jet and the EA-18G Growler electronic warfare aircraft. As part of this adaptation, 
NASA made several modifications to the F414 GE100 engine, including new software for engine control and additional code to establish communication between the jet and the X-59A. Additionally, fuel lines were adjusted to accommodate the plane's requirements. In addition, for the sake of being light and efficient, the X-59 version of the F414 engine doesn't have tracks. This means that the engines, which will be positioned underneath the aircraft's main body and then lifted, will be guided into place by people using their eyes and hands. Once they are properly situated, the engine is connected to all the necessary systems, like electricity and fuel lines, and the entire system of the engine and aircraft is tested together. After the aircraft's assembly, the X-59 team will carry out a series of tests on the ground. Then, in 2023, the plane will have its first flight. NASA plans to showcase this technology by flying the X-59 over various communities across the U.S. starting in 2025. The goal is to gather data that will pave the way for faster commercial supersonic flights that won't create disruptive noise on the ground. This means cutting down travel time significantly. In the noisy world of aviation, the X-59 comes with a more smart engine and a more humble sound. Get ready to fly at lightning speed, because the X-59 brings new promise for faster, quieter air travel.